hey hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to show how to stack multiple columns into one and ignore blanks okay when we think of stacking multiple columns into one most people think of either v stack or to call i personally prefer to call and my reason is simple when i have more than two or say three columns i go with to call why because i can do to call and i can select the entire array it stacks it up for me straight up but if I go the V stack route, it means that I have to then select, you know, column by column. So if I have 10, 15 columns, I need to put in 15 different arrays. Doesn't seem like the most efficient way, you know, to approach it personally. Okay, so, but that's not the point here. What we are trying to do is after stacking the data, is it possible to ignore the blanks or ignore before they are stacked? So let's pull up a two call again. Let's select the array. Okay, when you scroll down, you would see that in your data set, you have some zeros there, which represent, you know, your blanks. Okay. So now how do you get rid of them? The first thing that maybe comes to your mind is to use a filter function where you can filter out those that are blank, meaning just put a filter and say, give me just those that are not blank. But nobody looks at the second argument of to call, which pretty much handles this. If you put a comma, you will see that it has what? Ignore blanks, ignore errors, ignore blanks and errors. So let's assume that in this example, we have only blanks, you know, and that's really what it is. Then what do we do? We just select one to ignore blanks. And good enough, once you scroll down, you can see that everything is well taken care of. Okay, to call to the rescue. That's all I thought to share in this video. If you like it, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. For now, I'm out.